Hi, this is a Masterflex tutorial and we're going to model a chain, create a mesh for Masterflex to use, and then simulate its collisions, you know, drag it around in Masterflex. What you need to do is right now go to downstageright.com slash hardware because this has a basic overview of chain dimensions and the one listed here has a high strength with a working low limit of 12,000 pounds and it gives us our dimensions, all the dimensions we need to create it it's nothing complicated just before anything create a cylinder and set it with a length of 3.735 inches and a radius of 0.256 which is half of the diameter make sure if you can specify units go to unit setup and set this to US standard feet with decimal inches Now turn on your angle snap and your snaps toggle and right click angle snap and make sure your angle is either set to 5, 10 or 15 degrees. What this does is it will let you precisely snap every 5 degrees because at the moment it's set to 5 degrees. And make sure your snaps over here is only set to vertex and midpoint because that's all that's needed right now move your well leave it there at the moment center set, set your cylinder to be at zero 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 and rotate it perfectly to 90 degrees as I just did and increase the side segments to 36 now convert it to an editable poly once you have a height set to 3.735 inches and 0.256 like our blueprint specified press F4 to go into the shaded edges mode grab this polygon, detach it turn on detach to element and detach its clone then select your new element or your new polygon I had to hit control Z, I thought it was going to work with this anyways once you have your recently detached element let's go back to our blueprint and right now our circle we just detached is right between right here right between the diameter so it's at the radius point so we need to move it to the center of our chain which would be 0.256 plus 9.95 divided by 2 so 0.95 divided by 2 plus 0.256 gives us a not gives us an offset of 0 0.731 inches So turn on absolute transform and type in 0.731 inches and now go into the edge sub object mode and cut a line between the, between your circle at the exact midpoint and to know if we have the midpoint we can move this over here to the most to the highest point of the circle and at the bottom it will show 0.256 that tells me I'm at the exact 
center of my object and then hit control Z to return it to its original position. Press F3 to go into wireframe. And now turn off wireframe and select the body, bottom polygon. And then under edit polygons, click on the settings for hinge from edge and select this line we created. Set the angle to 180 degrees and increase your heights, I mean your segments. And so you have a good amount of detail. <coughs> and now extrude this segment. Doesn't matter the length, just make sure to line it up to the bottom row. And to make this more uniform, I should have set the original cylinder height segments to zero but there's a fix to it, just delete it delete these bottom polygons and then drag this outward <coughs> now switch back to the polygon sub object mode and drag this all the way over here click your original polygon, your newly created polygon over here and again click hinge from edge and make sure to specify to hinge from this edge and it will use the previous settings from your previous hinge operation and although our model looks good it is incorrect and is not ready we need to further optimize if you can see there is still a polygon in between here and we can optimize our model further by deleting the polygon and making sure there are no other polygons in between by double clicking now we can go into the vertex sub object level and weld these polygons together using the weld settings currently our size doesn't really matter it can be 0 0.000001 and there wouldn't be an issue because these polygons are overlapping each other and not really overlapping there each polygon over here is at the same XYZ position so my well threshold could be 0 .0000 and it would still merge these polygons that are overlapping each other or intersecting each other and now we can select this polygon and well you can see that they're that they aren't overlapping anymore and if we undo our weld operation you can see that they're separate so just make sure that you weld your polygons I mean your vertices and delete the guide for the hinge from edge operation that's the basic form of the chain if we want to model this section the STAC text the STAC lettering according to this it's a cylindrical 
type outline so let's just create a box and add a chain for operation to the edges rotate our created chain well before you rotate it make sure it's pivot point is set to the center you can do this under hierarchy rotate it 90 degrees and select our box again and rotate it 90 degrees go to the front viewport and make our box not intersect the chain as much then convert our box to an editable poly and chain for these edges and align our box to this segment right here and then using the pro boolean under compound objects subtract our box make sure the parameter is set to subtraction and start picking and click Now we can add text. Which is found under the shapes. press T and to switch viewports quickly you can press T, L or F and if you press Z it will zoom to the extents of this object or the selected object then under rendering make sure our text is enabled in viewport and enabled in renderer and reduces thickness if set to radial and just align, align our text now next we can do two things and your choice doesn't really matter it will matter later and I recommend you do the first method which is to align your text I mean well yeah we need to align our text before we go any further align our text to where we want it to be in terms of our chain make sure it's intersecting and not floating above it <coughs> and use the select and link to and link our text to our chain So now this link can orbit around freely and the text will stay in that position. 
no matter what kind of movement our chain link does. The second option would be to actually attach the chain text to the chain link using the editable poly attach option but that would interfere with a further operation that we are going to do which is create the mesh slash contact mesh that mass effects will use to detect collisions So just make sure your text for simulation purposes is set, is linked to your chain link. So now we're going to move on to the second step if you want. Before we go on to the second step you can add your, you can add more details to your chain which is this little loop which is about 0.256 or six eighths of the diameter so 0 0.512 times 0 0.75 which is six eighths now yes 0 0.384 inches and 384 inches 0 0.384 inches is 0.192 inches so using the swift loop tool add a loop here and add a loop here switch to a vertex sub object and the line and move these vertices to zero zero and then move them using the absolute transform tool to negative 0.192 inches in the negative x direction and then positive 0.192 inches in the positive x direction next select the inside polygons and you can bevel using the local normal and make sure your polygons are this shade of red and not this shade of red this shade of red means they are flipped or well yes they are flipped right now and you don't want them to look like that just make sure it's this pretty shade of red and play with the outline Apparently my chain link was offset but these are still to the dimensions necessary so I easily just fixed it by you know selecting this group and setting the position of these to be an average of zero. So let's move on to the let's move on to the contact mesh creation. 